So hey guys, it's Wilson. Um, so this channel's been kind of just nothing. Um, random stuff I posted. Uh, some four-wheeling videos, a couple video gaming videos. I've never really had a direction for this channel. <clears throat> um, until I think lately. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went out and purchased myself a nice little project slash toy vehicle. Um, that drives and runs and is a, a really fun truck, um, but it's not what I want it to be. That needs some things, some bigger things, a lot of smaller things. Um, and yeah, I was hoping to document it here. I'm going to use my, you know, what I have in my head for know-how, which is, you know, a fair amount. But there's a lot of stuff about this truck and doing some of the work on it that I don't know about. So I guess I'm going to kind of film this journey. Um... See if I get some people to come along with me, give me some tips, pointers, um, advice, you know, and help me build the truck. So what kind of truck? Well, let's turn this camera around. We'll go over it. I'll show you what I bought. Uh, it's a pretty sweet truck as it sits. Uh, but like I said, it's not precisely um, what I would like it to be. So there she is. There's the truck. Um, this is a 1977 K10 uh four speed on the floor gm 350 uh lifted i think those are 33s 35s or something it's from alabama uh, it's got a lot of gray or i mean red uh mud underneath it so this is the motor i'm working with um this is going to be a ct 400 straight from gm so this is a circle track racing engine apparently that is a 1826s edelbrock um terminator um i know it's a it's an off-road carb uh, but mudding isn't what i'm going to want to do with this truck so as you can see down there, uh, what they did was, when I believe when they bought this truck, they just uh, slapped the old water pump on it. Uh, looks like a shoddy job. Looks like trash. I would like to fix that up. A um, whole bunch of stuff under here. I'd like to clean up the engine bay. As you can see, it's still kind of got some of the uh, original blue paint color that it was. So some cleanup work I'd like to do. Um, the transmission is an SM465 four-speed with the granny gear that's nasty. Uh, it is leaking seals, though, a little bit. I believe it's the rear seal that's leaking, so I'm going to need to go through that, which is probably going to be um, my toughest job here. I want to go through the doors completely. The interior is what needs it most, so we'll have a look at that. So as you can see, it was a mud truck. Uh, you can see it more on the other side, but there's still mud all over the back. Uh, there's a gun rack in it. Fucking hillbillies. Uh, aftermarket attack. The gauges don't. The gauges do work. Um, fuel gauge is kind of bouncy. Um, speedometer is maybe 10 miles below, so I just use my GPS to find out how fast I'm fucking going. Um, I'd like to go with the twin stick mod for that transfer case. The seat needs to come out and redone, be redone. I would like to go black on black on black with the interior and the outside. Hints of red, maybe. Um, the doors have to be gone through. The window channels are all old. So this is the original 77 truck, except for everything but the motor. Um, what else can I say about it? It's a Dana 44 up front, 12 bolt GM in the rear. Uh, True dual exhaust. Yeah, so so there it is. Um, I've already started cleaning up some parts. We're working on the air filter cover right now, cleaning that up because it's got mud all over it. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of a walk around introduction of the truck. So. Yeah, I look forward to, you know, building this with you guys. Look forward to learning. Look forward to meeting some people. Look forward to having a fucking nice truck when I'm done. This thing's already sick, but we're going to make her pretty, too. So thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I'll post updates on the truck regularly as I work on it. And I do work a full-time job, so, you know, we'll get to it as we can. All right, guys. Take her easy.